<laughs> hey there everybody in YouTube world. It's me again, Missy Cheeks, here to share with you another segment of my life in love and slash um, some book points from a love book that I was writing or still writing. I don't know. But um, <laughs> really, I'm really trying to procrastinate making a phone call to someone. And I know in the last video I told you guys to be brave, go ahead and let it all out. However, it's easier said than done. Especially for me, a person who does not like to feel vulnerable and rejected. <sighs> now, I know before I said don't worry about feeling, you know, getting rejected. It's all a part of, you know, the, the process. Um, like I said, again, it's easier said than done. However, after this video, I am going to make that phone call. And it's so silly because I talk to the guy, not to say quite often, but I talk to him. And it's the guy that I met, um, in 2013 that I told you guys about. And it's kind of more of a, I would say sexual relationship. Um... Like I said, I don't screw multiple people at the same time, so he's the only one that I'm intimate with in that way, and that's all I want right now. Like, I don't do that. But I kind of want it to be more, but he said before, he's just trying to chill, and I respect that. He told me right off the bat, but you know me, or girls being girls, we still have feelings, and I have yet to decide if I want to continue in the process of trying to woo him or just let it be what it is or just cut it loose altogether um i'm like i'm this is the most confused i've ever been in any situation with a guy because i don't know if i don't want to pursue him because i feel like he's not pursuable like like i'm gonna be rejected in the fact that um he doesn't want a girlfriend or not even say girlfriend just somebody you know, kind of stable in his life like that? Or am I scared that... Or not even scared that, or I just feel that he's not the kind of guy that can be faithful in that kind of situation. Like, I don't know if it's me, or I don't know if it's him that I'm feeling like I don't really want to talk to him like that, but I kind of do. I don't know. It's like logical... Logical versus, like like love basically logic versus love the logic tells me he's comfortable the way he is and him being in a relationship right now is not going to be plausible however um never to say that the future cannot be you know you never know what the future may hold so if i stop personally him then someone else can go swipe him up and it's like you know, how did that happen? Or, if I continue to pursue him and nothing ever happens, am I going to be upset? I'm trying not to be upset, but I'm not as upset with him at all. It's on me because he already told me straight off the bat where he was in his situation. And I, I'm just like, I don't know. But on the love side of things, it's like I like love, I like him, I like his personality. I don't know if he knows this or not. But I like him more than just what we got going on. And I see something in him that, you know, I like. You know, multiple things. Um, so the thing is, the call is so simple. This is a uh, rambling to say. The call is so simple. All I have to do is call him and say hi. How you doing? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And ask him if he would like for me to, um, like, make a spread for him and his friends for, um, a Super Bowl party. Like, because I, I guess he doesn't know where he's gonna be or what he's gonna do, and I know guys like Super Bowl. I like Super Bowl, and I like to make food, so I was like, I'm thinking to myself that I would love to make him and his friends uh, a spread of some homemade snacks and things, some delicious stuff at his house so he can have his own Super Bowl party kind of thing. And I mean, I'm not paying for it. I would 
suggest that he pay for the food and stuff, and I would just prepare it. But uh, for some reason, it's so nerve wracking for me to even make that call. Like as we speak, well, as I'm speaking right now, my heart is kind of like dee 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 dee, because I'm like, okay, what if he says no, which is okay, but in my brain, it turns in, oh, he doesn't want me to get too close to him or. No, I don't I don't know like I made him pies and stuff before so it's not like I haven't made anything for him And he's like Ugh, she doesn't cook well or whatever But it's just the fact that if he says no, I'm gonna take it in a totally different direction Which I'm trying not to because it's not always like that No can just be no because he doesn't want people at his house No because he might have something to do or no because he doesn't want to spend the money not no because he doesn't want me doing it, you know? So I have to, when we do these things to ourselves and get nervous or overanalyze things, we have to breathe, bring it back. Not even overanalyze the other options of why we may be rejected, just live with it. So after this video, I am going to call. Okay, I am. Okay, so. That is where I am in the love journey. Um, the ex, um, we have come to the conclusion that maybe in the future, but me, I was, am not really ready for us to be together the way we were before. So, um, yeah. We're still cool and whatnot, but... Not right now, not right now. I'm having fun exploring and dating, so that is that. Now, let's get to our book points. We are in minute seven now, which is always going to be a part two because I have a lot to say, right? All right, last time I didn't have these notes with me, so I kind of just went with what I saw in my brain. Okay, here's one. This is the third one on the list. Let him like you more than you like him. Or at the very least, let him think that. Don't make yourself vulnerable. Now, this kind of ties into what I was just talking about. Alright, let him think... No, let him like you more than you like him. This is what I read in books. This is what my mom and my aunt has been telling me for years. Let the man like you more than you like him. And it's almost to say that... Don't put your full 100 heart into it, especially in the beginning because you never know. But it's okay to woo him and smooth him and do things for him, but at the same time, kind of keep that reality in you. Don't just fall head over heels. Keep that reality in you that, you know, maybe this might not work out. Or not even that, it's just like... Don't be giving him too much, especially if he's not returning the same amount of attention and, um, you know, affection towards you, especially. Um, it says, at the very least, let him think that. But, truthfully, I don't want you to fake not, I don't want you to fake not liking him more than he likes you. I want you to kind of make this real because... In the long run, it may help to soften a blow if the relationship or if the uh, potential dating circumstance does not pan out. And it will always leave the door open that if you guys don't stop, if you guys stop talking, that he will continue to have fond memories of you and you don't have to hold a grudge against him because it's not to say it wasn't that serious, but... You didn't put your all. Like, when we get in relationships, we put our all into it. And it's like, when we do that and it don't doesn't work out, we get upset because it's like, I gave you everything, all of me. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't do that. Especially if they're not returning the same service to you. Especially. Um, last part of that was, don't make yourself vulnerable. So that's kind of the point of that. Don't make yourself vulnerable to being devastated. We're going to be hurt, but you don't have to be devastated. 